you and I are going to change the world. Action. you don't drop it after after the after the first yeah. I just I'm not laughing at you. Throws it that would be bad. 
I've worked <laughs> many times in shooting range. You've, I've seen things happen you wouldn't believe. Okay, so just hold on to it tight. Yeah. Don't get too stiff. Don't get too loose. So arms extended, but not too stiff. And right. fun. This is right. yeah. Somewhere in the middle. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, ready for this? Oh, damn! <laughs> 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 oh, damn! 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 I was really excited because, you know, they decided they wanted to make Alina mixed race and Mal as well. They wanted the two orphans to have grown up, you know, with more adversity. I love the way they, they took this source material and made it into, you know, something a bit more diverse. I mean, it's diverse anyway, but having, you know, for me, I mean, I would have loved to have a, a mixed race sort of character to look up to when I was growing up. Just a current view from today's set. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Andy? You there the whole time? Oh yeah. Oh, that's my boyfriend. What are you doing, Angus? <laughs> Happy with that?
fucking fresh hell. The eyebrow magic. Everyone is in here and makeup. Hair and all at the same time. Okay. Hey there. Oh, yeah. How are you? Good, good. How are you? It's so nice to meet good you. To meet Hello. You. Oh, you're here. Sorry, I'm a little emotional. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just so excited. Oh my pleasure to meet you. Look at how many You guys look so incredible. It's actually eerie. This is the day that Lee Bardugo, the author of the books, is, is on set. But I told her on text this morning that I wasn't going to be here. And uh, she was like, oh no. So hopefully it'll be a nice sweet little surprise. All right, meet me up, Helen. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Shadow and Bone uh, follows the story of Alina Starkov, who is a orphan um, and joins the military. She's a cartographer, a map maker. During a, a, a dangerous journey that she's on with some fellow cartographers, she discovers that she has the power to change the world and save her country from despair. The process, I think, to, to which we, we go about coming into a project, I think it, it all starts with Lee, our director, and he, he shares his ideas and his references. We really focused on Ridley Scott's Gladiator. We really loved how sort of authentic everything felt. There was a real patina to wardrobe and the art direction, and it's a fairly sort of grounded look that leans into available light as much as possible. You know, I go back to you know working with film, Certainly my, my feeling was always that the commitment of basically having a film stock that you, you picked and you chose and you liked it for certain reasons that you were very much committing to a tone that no one could really sway one way or the other. And I feel the same way sometimes about, um, about work with the DXL or the Ren Monstro is that there's a commitment within the image. One can manipulate the image a lot more later because of all the resolution. But I do find that there's quite a commitment within the image that you can really uh, push through right from the get-go. The DP and director, there's this image that they had in mind, so it's my job to take that image and build mood and tone to help, you know, tell the story. You know, one of the many things I love working with Shane about is, is number one, I think just has great taste and sort of a great eye for uh, palette. I also think Shane innately doesn't like anything that feels too clean or too sterile and that's sort of, you know, for David and I, you know, the, the one and only thing, the sort of cardinal sin, the thing we never want. And Shane is, is really great about uh, protecting our look. You know, those are, you know, a few of the many reasons that I love working with Shane and, uh, and the Picture Shop family. We were lucky enough to work with uh, visual effects supervisor Ted Ray, who's very, very creative, very, very experienced. Really wanted to root all of the visual effects in something um, that felt authentic and had a deep sort of background in mythology. Ted came to the project with a lot of experience uh, at, uh, at doing visual effects at sort of the highest level um, and had great relationships with really, you know, the best vendors in town, including uh, Ghost VFX, which, which did a lot of our work on, on the Shadow Fold, which is sort of the, the, the piece de resistance of the show in terms of visual effects. You know, even their first round of something is really exceptional, and, uh, and, and I, I'm, you know, very proud of the work we did on Shadow and Bone, and I think it is a really exciting show. And a show like this, as big and complex as it is, um, a lot of moving pieces and a lot of really brilliant filmmakers like David, like Shane, like Ted, uh, were needed to bring it to life. I have no idea how much larger a role you have to play.